In this video, you will learn how to add a filterable image gallery that allows you to group and sort your images by category on your WordPress site using Beaver Builder. This makes it easy for your visitors to look through your images without the need to scroll forever down the page or click through to multiple pages. In our last video, I showed you how to add a photo album that opened in a light box. In case you missed it, I will leave a link in the description below as well as in the card above. By using the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder plugin, it is now possible to create a filterable photo gallery in just a few easy steps. Before we begin, we will want to make sure that we have both the Beaver Builder page builder and ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder plugins installed and activated on our WordPress site. Go ahead and click to create a new page and let's give it a title. Go ahead and click on the Launch Beaver Builder button to open up the editor. Click on the Modules tab. From here, we can search for Photo Gallery and drag and drop the UABB module titled Photo Gallery onto the page. In the pop-up from the General tab, go ahead and click on Add Photos. Here, you can either choose the photos from your media library or click to Upload Files. The next step is to assign each image to a category. So we'll click on the image and then on the right hand side under the attachment details for that image, I'm going to scroll down and where it says UABB categories, I'm going to assign this image to a category. If you want to assign it to multiple categories, you can do so by placing a comma between your categories. Once you've assigned all of the images to the gallery and given them the appropriate categories, go ahead and click on Add to Gallery. Next, click on Update Gallery. In order to make our photo gallery filterable, we need to scroll down under the General tab to the Filterable Photo Gallery and set this to Enable. Remember that each category we assign to an image will now become a tab that will help us to filter the images on the page. To keep watching, go ahead and click on the next video. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.